Man, let me tell you something. Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale. Listen to me. If you ever listen to the Royal Figures podcast. That was the one of the most stupidest statements I've ever read in my life. In what you said about Michael Jordan in his retiring. This was back in the day. You know, it's kind of funny when you pull up information. You know, when people say stupid stuff, how people keep recordings of factual words or quotes or phrases that people say. Now, Kevin McHale made a statement. It's this article that was put out by Sports, Sports Skeeter. And they brought up on Kevin McHale when he made a statement on Michael Jordan's first retirement. And so Kevin McHale said, people will be saying, Michael who? In other words, Kevin McHale was saying, nobody's going to remember Michael Jordan after he retired for the next five years or so. People are going to say, who was Michael Jordan? How ironic. Kevin McHale is that this has been well over 20 years ago and Michael Jordan is still relevant than you. Michael Jordan shoes are still number one and he hasn't even played NBA basketball in over 15, 20 years. How is that possible? That means that people still remember MJ and people still respect MJ more than you. Now, roles reverse. Do people still remember Kevin McHale? Now, I know my basketball heads like me. Kevin McHale was a problem. Kevin McHale was the real deal, especially in the post. This man had posts like no other. He knew how to position you, how to throw a little elbow, how to get to his spots, how to make certain strategies. If the first move didn't work, he knew how to get to his second move and even possibly the third move to get you off balance to get to the basket, especially down in the post, in the low block. But make no mistake about it, a lot more people have forgotten you than people who have forgotten Michael Jordan. Let's make no mistake about that. Now, let's kind of go into your quotes and what you said back in the day. Now, see, by your words, you're going to be justified. And by your own words, you shall be condemned. Now, I guarantee you, this is your quote. I guarantee you, people may not believe it or not, but in five years, people will be saying, Michael who? And that's the way it is in this league. There's going to be someone that comes out. Maybe it's Shaquille. Someone's going to come out and dominate. The names on the back of jerseys jerseys change. The lead just keeps rolling on. That's your statement, Kevin McHale. But let me introduce you to something. Michael Jordan is still relevant today in the NBA league. You have people that regard Michael Jordan and still talking about him being the GOAT, the greatest of all time since over 30 years since you made this statement. So what do I come to my conclusions? Is don't listen to that stupid behind statement that Kevin McHale has made and understand that it maybe it would have been some jealousies involved in that statement. And that's okay. That's fine. We need jealous people to be your motivators. You know, the people that's going to keep pushing you to go above and beyond your purpose. But what you have done is really like Charlemagne the goddess say, become the donkey of the day because you are a real jackass for that statement. Y'all stay tuned to the next episode of the Royal Figures podcast.